With much fanfare, here he is, Michael Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This as good as it gets, Chad. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel and the black shorts and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we look up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Has graced the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight. <laughs> Doubt him now, folks. Doubt him now. The undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Drakus Duplessis. And even though, of course, he wanted to beat Israel Adesanya for the title, it ended up being Sean Strickland. This man's the best in the world. And he has had knockers and doubters every step of the way. They knocked his cardio. They knocked his grappling. The man can fight. The man's a born fighter, as are a lot of individuals who grow up in South Africa. And now that he's the champion, in theory, he's 20 to 30% better. We'll see if the incumbent can get dethroned here tonight. Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Athletes are ready to go. Let us now see how this matchup plays out. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mike Tyson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of And there's Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, one of the best middleweights in the world at present, Drake is Duplessis, prioritizing a fast start tonight as we get underway in round one. Not as though he's been a fighter who historically plays with his food at times, but Duplessis doesn't want to give his opponent any window for optimism or confidence. As such, he felt like his jab was going to lead the dance, and eventually his right hand would close the show. A swing and a miss by Duplessis. Oh, that's double leg, yes. Duplessis in half goal. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. Nice shot there by the champ. Lands a big elbow there. Nice positional like control here. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Now he's going to attack his neck and try to get the rear naked choke. Some hand fighting going on here. A couple of hooks in. We'll see if he can get under the chin. Now it's getting tighter. He's almost got this choke. Oh, nice elbow. The ground strikes continue to pile up. up now and now the damage is about to start he 
Yeah, he's fighter better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Just over three minutes to go. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Another Not ground that. and pound strike lands. Trying to finish this fight. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Duplessis. Gotta watch this thing. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. He's got it locked in. his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast tape. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Yep, got to be very careful there. Massive shot from the top. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Great ground and pound by this man. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Oh, that is gonna do it. That's gotta be it. Oh, my God! Takes the choke, is out of it. Gets the finish. Holy smokes. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot. Gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. We go right inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Gregus Silva And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that.
He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.